IOL explantation is it easy my video editor showed that it's simple just play the video on the reverse explantation of foldable IOLs is not uncommon this situation can develop due to damaged IOLs biometric surprises newer IOL models with their halos which makes a usual story quite extraordinary out or in it's the same door so it was the baby's day out we explored various techniques to explant the IOL through the same incision IOLs also behave differently as they are made of different materials a single explantation technique cannot be ideal for all lenses the three main materials are hydrophobic acrylic silicon and the hydrophilic acrylic. Silicon lenses are difficult to refold or cut within the eye. It always tends to slip. We scratched our heads till we thought of this little wonderful device. The wire loop snare. To our surprise, the silicon lenses could be cut effortlessly as if a knife through the butter. So we tried the snare technique for the hydrophobic and the hydrophilic single piece lenses for their explantation. An additional cushion was thought and was acquired by placing the snare inside a Monarch A cartridge. The tip of the cartridge was cut open a few millimeters from the tip on either side. This acted like a jaw, which could open much wider. As this modified snare with the cartridge was tried on the hydrophobic lens, to our surprise, the whole lens folded itself like a newborn, making its way comfortably through the birth passage. The same technique was successfully applied in hydrophilic acrylic lenses in the wet lab. The modified cartridge can easily accommodate more mass as its opening become wider. A silicon lens got damaged during implantation. The lens is prolapsed into the anterior chamber. One haptic was cut to facilitate the looping of the snare around the optic. If we cut both the haptics at this stage, the optic may slip under the loop of the snare. The snare did cheese wire the optic into two effortlessly. It is mandatory to use dispersive viscoelastic liberally at all stages to protect the corneal endothelium and the posterior capsule. Pieces of the IOL were then explanted through the same incision with forceps one after the other. Encouraged with our wet lab experience, the same technique was followed in single piece hydrophilic lens which got damaged during implantation. A Monarch A cartridge cut on either side and a snare was introduced through the cartridge now this modified cartridge was introduced through the same corneal tunnel under viscoelastic cover. The snare loop was opened and the IOL was engaged into the loop by a Sinsky hook. On gentle pulling of the snare, the lens got explanted through the cartridge. A grossly inaccurate biometry leading to the explantation of a one day old hydrophobic lens. The same corneal tunnel is reopened. Viscoelastic is introduced into the anterior chamber and within the bag to separate the lens from the posterior capsule. 
The lens is prolapsed into the anterior chamber. The same modified cartridge with the snare is prepared and introduced. A Sinsky hook engages the lens into the loop of the snare. It is very important to keep the tip of the cartridge into the anterior chamber as it requires more space to open. With gentle pulling of the snare, the lens obediently refolds and is explanted through the same cartridge. Similar technique is followed for explantation of a hydrophilic lens with a plate haptic design. The wire loop snare can be simply made by two 20 gauge needle and the A1 first string of the Spanish guitar. The tip of the needle is blunted by rubbing the tip on pumic stone. Two side openings are similarly made. The A1 string is threaded through one opening and then through the other. The open ends of the strings is passed through the second needle. The wires in the second needle is secured by pinches with the pliers. The snare is ready for use. Often we tend to defer or postpone aisle exchange because it is a difficult procedure through the same small incision. The final visual outcome of cataract surgery should never be compromised. This simple reproducible technique can be most effective for in and out through the same incision. Thank you for being in and out through the whole video.